2024 is here. Do you know, I just had to go and check the diary because I said that for a split second and I was like, is it though? Is it? But today is New Year's Day. I'm pre-recording this because on New Year's Day, I probably am not gonna be feeling too fresh because I'm going to a party the night before. But I hope you all had an amazing New Year's Eve and that the, your start to the new year is going well. It's too early to really tell how it's gonna pan out, isn't it? Hopefully it'll be a good one. But let's discuss hot designer bags for 2024. If you're into your designer bags, which I know most of you probably are, or you are, these are some really hot bags that if you buy them, or if you already own them, because you might own them and not even realize this is a banger for 2024. So the first is baguette shape bags. There is obviously the Fendi baguette, which is like the most, the, the one that most of us all you know, know, but actually, there are other versions of the baguette bag that aren't copies, they're their own thing, but they're the baguette style. So for example, there's one by Jacquemus, which is quite a well-known one. It's been out for a long time. It's got that sort of baguette shape to it. But I also found, where is it? I found like a pretty amazing one actually on Amazon for £13.99. It's not branded, but it's got the same look. It's got that baguette shape look. So if you like to follow trends, but you don't like to waste money following them, which can be a thing, then have a look at Amazon. I will link to that bag below, but have a look at Amazon because they've got some quite decent stuff over there. I personally am really into beaded bags. And one thing I'm really pleased about is that 2024 is gonna be the year of the beaded bag. The bags already came in when in 2022, maybe a bit before then, and they've ramped up excitement through 23. But in 2024, this is gonna be the year for the beaded bag. This is one of my personal favorites. I also found, because I was on Amazon, I found like quite, they've got a lot of beaded bags on Amazon. Go and check out Amazon if you want a beaded bag, but you're like, no, I'm not gonna spend the money because my stuff doesn't really fit in it and it's a trend, go and have a look at Amazon. I found this, which I thought was quite sweet actually. It's a seashell shaped bag embroidered with pearl beads. And it's, it's not a lot of money. I will, again, I'll link to it below, but it's a really great looking bag. Good if you have like an evening up, like coming up or something. Um, also check out Zara. Zara for all of these trends can be fantastic because you can get onto the trend without spending an absolute fortune. Then there is also like another one of my favorites, but this one's 7,000 pounds. It's from Dior and I've seen it in the blue, the pink and the AB crystal, like kind of white tone. I just love them all. I'd, if I was gonna get one, I don't even know what color I would choose, which is good, because I'm not gonna go and get one. But I absolutely love this bag. I love the detail that you get on the Dior charms that are hanging down, like the lettering that hangs down off. I just love everything about this bag. Another trend for this year that I, I'm, I don't know whether I, I am on the fence with it. Well, I don't know whether I like it or not, but it's bags that have got belt details on them. I think it depends on the bag. For example, I found this one from Miu Miu that I actually really like. It's got like a belt buckle on the strap handle that goes over the shoulder. There's also, I'm really pleased to say, do you, you know I've got the Dior Gaucho bag from back in the day that David bought me, and I've told you the story about why it's brand new and has never been worn because the original one broke and then Dior gave me another one and I'd already been using it for a year at that point. And so I decided oh, I'm gonna save it, I won't use it. Um, but that bag, that bag is back in. So I'm definitely gonna be digging that out and using it because at one point it did feel a bit dated, but now with the buckle trend coming back in, looks like it's gonna be hot. Um, there's also this one from Marge Sherwood, which is another one that will give you some ideas and also, if you have the Hermes Kelly, that has got like a little belt detail on the front of it as well. So that's a bag that's never out of fashion, but it's even more hot at the moment. When it comes to colors for 2024, and I'm not talking, I'm not gonna break this down in terms of seasonal and get really like in, in depth with it, but two colors that are really playing a part are ice blue and a deep cherry red, almost a black cherry red. They're the two colors that are gonna be quite popular for this year. And I, I'm, not, I, I'm not really keen on ice blue. 
I'm not really keen on that, but I'm very keen on the cherry red. I really like that particular tone where it's red, but it has black in it. it I think it's beautiful. And there are a few brands that have got bags right now that look gorgeous. The first one is from Coach. And I, cause I was like typing in like cherry red bags and this Coach one came up and it's in the sale. It's gorgeous, it's the tabby bag. Comes in loads of different colors, but it comes in this, in this really beautiful, deep cherry color. So if you like that, go and check out Coach. Their sale actually looks really good at the moment. And you know, as I've said with all of these, they are trends, so you might choose not to go and invest and buy into the actual designer version of it. Because it is a trend, you might want to kind of like go to Zara or go to Coach or check out Amazon. That, that might be like a way that you can get in with the trend without losing any money. A couple of my other favorite brands who have done really good cherry red bags. The first is Mew Mew. Um, uh, Mew Mew is growing on me actually. I forget the name of it. They've got this little hobo bag and I do really like it. I can't lie. I would probably go for the larger size because the small one's cute but I wouldn't fit anything in it. But I, ab I absolutely love it. I'm just... I don't know about Mew Mew. I mean I really like it but I always think about pre-loved. Mew Mew doesn't do really well when it comes to holding on to its value. I know that because I've had a Mew Mew bag before and I sold it for like oh, a couple of hundred pounds and it cost me a, about 1800 and I literally sold it for about 200 pounds and that was a struggle. And that's just one thing that puts me off them. In case I ever do get bored and I decide to sell, you expect in, with some bags to lose a little bit, but not, you don't want to be losing thousands, do you? So that's kind of my take on it. But the Mew Mew, this Mew Mew bag in the dark red is gorgeous. Then there is also Gucci. So when I looked, when I saw this color and how it's trending, the first thing I thought is that I have seen a bag from Gucci. I think it's the 1947 bag from memory. I could be wrong. And it's in this gorgeous cherry red and it's got the bamboo handle. I think this is the one I'm thinking of, the 1947. And it's so, so eye-catching, but so classic. And that actually is a bag that I think if you were to buy that, even though the colour is a trend, the shape of the bag is very much not a trend. And I think that would be a really good one to buy and to own. Coach I've already mentioned. Then there's Saleron. You know the, I forget the name of it. What is the name of it? I should have done this research before I came on here. The little shoulder bag that they've got out. That also comes in patent leather and it comes in the cherry red as well. And I really like that. Of the shade of red they've got going on on that bag is my personal favorite. The one on Mew Mew is slightly more burgundy. The one on that Saleron bag is just chef's kiss. Perfect, love it. There are quite a few different trends for 2024. Things that I'm not even covering. I've literally just picked out my favorites because there are so many to go through and I don't want to bore anyone to tears. But the final trend, which again really caught my eye, are bags that are in unusual shapes. So these could be things like the Alaya heart bag. It could be hat box bags. It could be some of the triangle shaped bags from Prada that they've got out at the moment. It could be there's like a bag by the Attico, I think it is, that's like a triangle kind of shape. Could be that kind of thing. But also Gucci, They've got a bag out at the moment that's triangular shaped ish and it's cut on a slant. Then you've got uh, Salvatore Ferragamo. There, there is a bag out from, um, from them at the moment as well, which has got that unusual shape to it. And I kind of like it. I, I will say I'm more of a fan of the heart shape bags than I am some of the other shapes. I don't love the, the triangle and things like that, but I can get behind heart shapes and hat box style bags. I absolutely love those. So they're just some of my favorite trends for the new year and bags that are gonna come out that are, some of them are already out as I've shown you and they are gonna just be amazing and so popular for the new year. So if there's anything you like, well, I hope there is something that you like or it's given you some ideas. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video, which is gonna be tomorrow.